Making a separate video about a separate assertion because I want to point out truth or tactics. The polio vaccine was purposely tainted with the cancer virus in the 60s. Okay, now you have to look up what cancer virus you're talking about. Viruses can cause cancer because viruses infect cells and sometimes they don't get the cell to duplicate them correctly or they use another mechanism besides what we would normally think of and it causes the cell to be damaged, mostly the DNA, and it can cause cancer because any DNA damage might cause cancer. It doesn't always. Usually the cell just stops working because it needs the DNA to do something. Many were restricted with cancer, virus later. Gates, Fauci, Bricks, they all need to be held responsible. Thousands of deaths due to the depopulation agenda. Look at all the men, women, and children that have died because of this virus. These psychopath monsters must be stopped now and we don't have to give you any evidence. We're just going to give it to you. The virus you're talking about has an actual name and you avoided using it because someone would double check what bullshit you were posting. Simeon Vaculinating Virus, CV40, or Simeon Virus number 40, which would be a great title for a movie or uh, even a death metal band. Studies do not show any increased risk of cancer from it, period. Also, people who got flu vaccination, excuse me, conspiracy theory, uh, polio vaccinations from 1950s to 1963 specifically, when those vaccines were not purposely contaminated with a virus, but accidentally contaminated because at the time they were using monkey kidneys to grow the vaccine in. That's literally the process. Now, I don't know if you know that. And um, that virus got in, and uh, it hasn't been present in the vaccine since, because as soon as they discovered it, they checked for it to make sure they didn't have it in the vaccine supply and destroyed all, cop all, all stock of the virus containing vaccine. Cancers of people who had not received the polio vaccines and those born after 1963 also have been found to contain this virus inside of it. It's a virus that can occupy people and can spread from person to person, but it may be benign, but it also could cause cancer. It wasn't deliberately inserted into the vaccine. This is a lie. It's not even an accident here. You're just lying. Or maybe you didn't know what its name is. So why should I listen to you say the cancer vac virus? Next, um, people uh, didn't show an increase in cancer, so I guess your attempt at killing people didn't work because it didn't cause a mass murder effect. Also, uh, they check for this in every damn thing because it's considered a uh, laboratory weed because it keeps getting into things because shit tons of people carry it. Well, it's because they vaccinated them. People who were vaccinated beforehand also showed it. People who were vaccinated after show it. But people who were vaccinated afterwards weren't vaccinated with it. Well, they put it in the population and it's caused the death rate because that's where all the cancers came from. But people were dying from the same types of cancer tumors before the vaccine was fucking invented. Uh, then it's deeper than I thought and they've been doing it since the 1800s or something. The specific tumors that this virus is found in are found in people a lot of the time and they're not usually benign. They're not usually... They're, they're cancer, but they're benign cancers. They're not metastasizing. They normally don't kill people. And when they do go cancerous, you can find all sorts of other viruses in them. People started getting really curious after this, found out that a lot of viruses infect people and get into cells and then die in the cell. They get stuck. They go dormant. You know what they found in a higher population of people who had cancer? Evidence that they had gotten polio or been exposed to it or had latent copies of polio in their system. Because even though the vaccine may keep you from getting sick from it, or even keep you from being able to give it to people, you can still get shingles from being exposed. Yeah, people found polio in cancerous tumors. You know what was also found? Besides the simian virus in these cancerous tumors? Polio virus long after the world is filled with diseases that, 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 they can, that can hurt people or kill them. Being an anti-vaccination person doesn't fix any of that or help anybody. You're not helping anybody. You're being an idiot. No one has to respect you and you will not receive it here. Go away. 
the person who posted this lie about them deliberately putting a virus into it is an outright lie because all you have to do is type in polio vaccine and cancer virus in 1960s. That's all you have to do. And you find the answer that it was because they were using a particular type of material, an animal model, to produce the vaccine. The material to do the vaccine, one of the stages. And, uh, yeah, this, uh, it got infected with something the, uh, the, the, the monkey already had in its, uh, in its kidneys. It had been infected by it, and it was carrying it latent. Humans and monkeys can get this and carry it, but it doesn't cause cancers. The only animal that anybody found that would get cancers are rats. But that study has actually been put into question, too. Because the rats they used, I, I keep having to point this out, a rat study that shows a cancer happens is usually done in a particular rat that's extremely likely to get cancers. Some of you have had pet rats and found out, yeah, rats get cancers a lot more often. They do. Uh, and specific varieties of rats, the ones that are used in the labs, are extraordinarily commonly getting cancers. A rat getting cancer is actually pretty much normal for the specific rat we're talking about. And the experiments here are really simple. Did you give them a virus after they already had tumors? So now they have to find rats. This is the fun part. They got that specific variety of rats and asked, and asked people, can you find one without killing them? that doesn't have a cancer in the first fucking place? And the answer was, no, we can't find any rats that are of the model that we're using that year, this is in the 60s and such, that doesn't have cancer from the get-go. They're pretty much born cancer victims. So a lot of studies, whether anybody wants to talk about it, this, this, this proves that you can get cancer in rats. A lot of those studies at one point showed that they were using rats that already had cancer before they went ahead and did the test. So they, they have to accommodate for that. Now, where did I get that from? A website trying to tell you that nothing causes cancer and cancer isn't real because the rats already have cancer when they show up to the lab. It's run by an anti-vaxxer. The anti-vaxxer is saying that the vaccine causes cancer in rats, so therefore it must do it to humans. And a couple of pages later, no, I'm not going to provide a link. You have to go dig it up. You made me dig this up says that all rats have cancer from birth, so you don't die from cancer. Or am I making that up? I'm not giving you enough information to look this up. I'm going to sit here in a pretty pink tutu on a sponge cake and make you go look up stuff and make you have to kowtow to my every will while I giggle about how you're bitching about it. Did that sound like a really good conspiracy theory to any of you guys? It's horse shit. By the way, they, the pink tutu thing in the sponge cake is just, just icing on the cake. So anyway, now that never happened. Some of you are going to look up what anti-vaxxer. It wasn't an anti-vaxxer. It's a cancer denialist who says that there is no such thing as cancer, but says that rats get cancer because they're born with it. And that cancer is really a good thing. It's your body. Anyway. People who had not received the polio vaccines had the same incident of the virus and the same incident of the specific cancer that was being discussed here as people who got the vaccines, meaning it didn't cause cancer. I mean, the most basic thing is if you're saying something causes cancer, shouldn't it cause it more often? I'm going to delete your fucking comment archived below. U.S. National Center Institute announced in 2004 that although it does cause cancer in some animal models, specifically, yeah, it is actually rats that have a tendency of getting cancer. Based on two studies and substantial epidemiological evidence, it likely does not cause cancer in humans because they can't find any study that showed that it did at all. This was a meta-study. 2002, a study that had been performed by the National Academy of Science Immunization Safety Review Committee stated that biological evidence that it, its exposure to this virus could lead to cancer in humans under natural conditions was moderate, which is another word for we can't find any evidence either, but it's more than a 50% shot. It's barely better than random chance. And again, I, I, I wasn't lying about this. 
They also found that uh, lots of different viruses are found in cancer tumors. It doesn't mean it causes them. On the other hand, there are some viruses, if you get it to somebody, it will cause a cancer. And then there are people who deny that because they don't like that that would involve you getting, uh, you, can get an, 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 you can get a vaccine against a specific virus that causes a specific cancer. You know that, right? It'll actually keep you from getting it. But some of you don't like it because it causes promiscuity. Because religion. The wages of sex are death by cancer after you've had a kid eight years later and you were married in church and all the other good stuff. Well, you're being punished because you had sex before marriage or maybe during. Getting married doesn't stop you from getting papilloma, I think it's human papilloma virus, which can cause cancer. Getting a vaccine can stop it from happening, but that'll encourage people to have sex. I want the church to stop being obsessed with other people's sex life, and I want all of you politically motivated people to stop requoting their bullshit from their site. And yes, actually, that was from another one. Polio vaccine was not in ta purposely tainted with the cancer virus in the 1960s, and thank you for being vague. Like, that's really going to stop me from digging it up. You're an asshole. You're not solving anything. Meanwhile, you're the kind of person who would advocate for preventing people from getting a vaccination against a damn disease. And this is the other thing i got to bring up. Anti-vaxxers originally started off just saying, I don't want mandatory vaccinations because I want the right to make a decision for myself, and then the next part, for my kid. And the problem with that is herd immunity, which is something they deny, actually works. And if everyone has a vaccination, or if everyone just gets sick from a virus... It tends to just die off. In fact, that may be the reason that some viruses like uh, like the uh, uh, Spanish flu literally just died off. Everybody just became immune to it for so long that it just didn't have a host anymore. Viruses sometimes can't survive without a host. They can't go into a dormant state. So anti-vaxxers literally advocate for people for getting sick from viruses and saying the strong should survive and the weak should die. If you get them in a quiet room and liquor them up, they'll tell you their agenda. They want people to die from viruses, and some of them will say it's God's will, or it'll thin out the weak, or, you know. It's an Aryan pride thing. Uh, yeah, that actually happens, too. When you actually dig into the motivations and the drives behind vaccination deniers, vaccination haters, you find out a lot of them don't know about the history of being anti-vaccine. Well, poor people get vaccinations, but us rich people don't need it because we're cleaner. You even get uh, Bill Mayer, or whatever his name is, basically uh, qu quietly advocating for it. The whole, if you're weak, you should die thing. I was born dead. I had to be resuscitated. Um, I have an immune system that's ignorant of how to deal with certain bacterial infections. And after 10 years of constant reinfection, my immune system is now capable of fighting off almost every form of bacterial infection in existence. I got the natural immunity from it, essentially. By the way, herd immunity isn't going to help me. This is from the environment I'm in, just in the world around you. I'm not immune. I have, I have a, had a complete lack of immunity from the most basic bacterial infections. My immune system was defective, but it did learn. If I had been able to get a vaccination to keep myself from almost losing my legs, part of my face, and who knows what else, I can't even remember there was such a long fog of being medical treated. I would have done it, yeah. Because I didn't want to lose my fucking legs. Now my immune system is capable of fighting it mostly. My immune system is still considered weak on bacterial infections. My immune system had to put up with virus after virus after virus. I had vaccinations because if I didn't get them, I would be dead because my immune system couldn't learn from a virus of any kind. Assholes like you are advocating for defective people like me to die. We have modern medicine to keep that from happening for the same reason you don't have to go out and hunter-gather like I had to do at one point. You weak piece of shit. You need to go to the store. You need canned food. Screw you. I went fishing. People who are anti-vax, in many cases, have a real reason for it. You know, freedom of, of, of belief and that sort of thing. The rest of the time, uh, it's them just being weak puny humans. By the way, part of my treatment was to get vaccinations, obviously. I got the vaccinations you get if you're going into the military four times. 
Every morning someone asks me, how are you doing? I say I'm not dead. I really mean it. You need to get to that point too. Good day. Goodbye. Good luck.